Come find out how to paint this with these. Spiky bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Ron Bear from spikybits.com, and we're back at it again, showing you how to paint your miniatures with metallic Sharpie markers. It's amazing. We got some new tips. We've got some color match paints, so you can literally match the exact color that comes out of these Sharpie markers on all those hard to reach places. So you don't even slow down. It's crazy the amount of time you can save painting your knights, uh, painting your titans, both big and small for Adeptus Titanicus. And of course, I'm sure by the time this video comes out, painting all those new amazing chaos miniatures that are soon to be on the way from Games Workshop. So if there's anything that'll slow you down in any project is painting trim. We're gonna show you how to make painting trim easier so you can spend time on the rest of your hobby. So about three years ago, we showed you how to use these the same exact brands of markers to paint a night tight. Now, fast forward to now, we've actually been able to color match the paint uh, because we're using these on some Adeptus Titanicus models, which unfortunately have, while it does save quite a bit of time, there's a, a lot of small models or small areas on uh, the, the models that you can see right here, like these very edges, these very tips, of the uh, little trim that are almost impossible to get with this. So just to kind of show you how it works, you very lightly just kind of press down with your bronze. I did all the blue uh, with a little bronze marker right here. Sometimes you have to go back or you might not be pushing down enough. And don't be afraid to kind of depress the marker on like a piece of paper just to kind of get the paint going a little bit better. It really, really works. And sometimes, yeah, that definitely helps right there. You're supposed to store these tip down so don't forget that right there so that's basically the gist of how it works now you can see this is a really small section of trim so it might not be for you but obviously working on the larger models things like night titans and stuff it definitely will uh, work out very well now on this piece which is even more tinier <laughs> you can see sometimes it's better to work in uh, halves these so that way you, this side dries so you can once it's dry you can pick it up and hold it and then go ahead and finish off the other side as well and that way you're not smearing the, the sharpie marker over uh, the rest of your work right there and that's uh, that's very important as well so definitely something to remember now once you're done with uh, using these sharpies you can actually matte coat over them make sure it's dry you can matte coat over them and you can paint over them with regular acrylic paints like no worries right there everything will be fine um i've literally had models that i painted three years ago N nothing's faded nothing's yellowed uh no worries as far as you know will it hold up is it archival safe air, air quotes so to speak now that's all well and fine i'm sure but you're like hey how do i paint those hard to reach areas and that is actually something i'm going to show you uh right here i had some well, we'll just do this one right here. So the easiest way to paint these little hard to reach areas right there is actually with a brush. So let me get all that out and we'll show you the color match paint and how you can really, really take this Sharpie tech to the next level. So I've found that for the bronze Sharpie marker right here, the best color match for this is actually a 50-50 mix of Balthazar gold and lead belcher. And lead belcher actually don't get it twisted lead belcher is pretty much the same as is gunmetal it looks different in the model but it's actually way 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 close to gunmetal so if you don't have lead belcher and you have gunmetal well it turns out that those will work just fine so a 50 50 mix of that is your bronze right there i've got a pot of it already mixed up and as you would imagine the normal silver sharpie marker right here the silver metallic is either a lead belcher or gun metal you're, you're pretty much your choice at that point they both work very well now when it comes to the gold which we're not going to use in this tutorial but gold it actually helps out and it may take you a little bit more time but base coat with bronze and then do gold over it because it sticks to the bronze a little bit better believe me and then you can actually use silver to trim the gold with uh, because it makes a really really striking kind of highlight on the edges of the trim work right there now this doesn't exactly lend its well 
itself very well to a lot of uh, flat area fading, if you know what I mean, but just keep that in mind. Now the goal is a color match to a very, very, uh, it might be a hard to find color in your area. It actually is Vallejo Mecha Color Old Gold, which is a relatively new paint on the market today. It's actually so good of a color match that you can't even tell that the color, the Sharpie is actually right there on the paint pot itself. That was like, I was walking around a hobby town, my local hobby town here, and I was like looking for a paint that had so many, so many paints. I didn't notice this on the other roll, but I have my Sharpies with me and I, I Sharpie marked it a little bit on there and I looked down at it and I was like, yep, that's a win. <laughs> We've used it since of course, but that was very easy to tell right there. Now, I base coated that part from earlier just left the little edges right there just to kind of show you the technique that yes at some point even though this is an incredibly um <laughs> very easy to do technique as you already saw me use the markers themselves there is going to be points where you have to actually get out your brush and i definitely recommend pulling the paint towards you or pulling the brush strokes towards you just like this and while it's going to be a little bit shinier than the actual uh, paint pen itself or a paint marker itself, which you can see right there, once you matte coat this down, you're not even going to notice. I've already done that Warlord type that you saw in the intro, and you couldn't even tell that a lot of the, the smaller little uh, points on some of the trim work we had already done, and they were matte, everything was matte coated. Part paint, part Sharpie marker. Now right there, I actually went over, but that's okay. Another great thing about having your brush out right here is that you can take uh, your original color here and do touch-ups if you really need to so you can see we're just going to take this I think it was Cantor blue and we're just going to go down the side right there and get in this gap and then of course to match it we're going to have to do the other side and get it on like that and once that dries it's a little wet but it'll look it'll look just fine. So there you go. Very easy. It's a super simple technique. And now that we have uh, the color match technology for it right there, that actually makes a project such as this, because believe me, the the new Warlord Titan for a Titanicus seems that it would be a lot easier to paint and not take as much time. But this is just going to take as much time, if not more, as a full scale Night Titan. Uh, believe it or not right here so you can see where we've done all the points and everything like that we alternated the silver for the gold trim and then used the bronze on all of the uh the blue trim right there so it worked out great i was really really happy with this titan it's uh it was an amazing journey to get this painted up i can only imagine how much time would actually go into painting a uh, a full scale one i need to get an extra magnet right there that arm keys I think there's a little bit of a depression where it's not contacting there. So believe me, I practice what I preach. This is a whole tray full of additional Titan parts that I've done all of the trim in. And I have another tray of blue that we're currently working on to once we get to that point, we'll be able to assemble up our Titans and have our little maniple going and be able to play our Titanicus. But we couldn't have done it without these Sharpie markers right here. So if you have a hard time uh, finding these or you've heard about it and you wanna try it out yourself, we're gonna throw an Amazon affiliate link uh, in the comments below and also in the description so you can pick these up uh, for yourself uh, if you have a hard time finding them. Or there are some paint pens out there, don't get those, you don't want those, you want these uh, metallic permanent markers from Sharpie right here. So click on the link and scoop them up if you need them, of course, right there. So that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. This is, I guess, three years later update and a little bit more tech to the technique itself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.